Hello students, in this video we will learn product of two vectors. We have already studied addition of two vectors and subtraction of two vectors. Now here we are going to learn product of two vectors. In finding the product of two vectors, we are having two ways. One is scalar or dot product of two vectors and another one is vector or cross product of two vectors. When you are finding scalar product, the result will be scalar. Similarly, when we are finding cross product of two vectors, the result will be vector. We will denote scalar product of two vectors. For example, if you are having two non-zero vectors A vector and B vector, the scalar product of two vectors is denoted by A vector dot B vector. And Vector product of two vectors is denoted by A vector cross B vector. In this video, we will learn about scalar product of two vectors or dot product of two vectors. Scalar or dot product of two vectors is defined as A vector dot B vector is equal to magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector into cos theta. Here theta is the angle between A vector and B vector and the value of theta lies between 0 and pi. If either A vector is equal to 0 or B vector is equal to 0 then theta is not defined. This A vector dot B vector will be equal to 0. Next, we will learn some observations of scalar product of two vectors. First one is A vector dot B vector is a real number. Second is if there exists two non-zero vector A vector and B vector, then A vector dot B vector will be equal to zero if and only if two vectors are perpendicular to each other. That is A vector is perpendicular to each other. Third result is if theta is equal to 0 then A vector dot B vector is equal to magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector. We are having particular case that is A vector dot A vector is equal to magnitude of A vector square. Here also theta is equal to 0 and fourth observation is if theta is equal to pi then a vector dot B vector is equal to minus magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector. And we are having particular case in this also which is A vector dot minus A vector is equal to minus magnitude of A vector square. Here also theta value is pi. And fifth, fifth observation for mutually perpendicular unit vectors i cap j cap k cap and i cap dot i cap j cap dot j cap and k cap dot k cap will be 1 and if you are finding i cap dot j cap and j cap dot k cap and k cap dot i cap the value will be equal to 0 and sixth observation is cos theta is equal to a vector dot B vector divide by magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector or theta is equal to cos inverse of A vector dot B vector divide by magnitude of A vector into magnitude of B vector. And seventh observation is scalar product of two vector is commutative that is A vector dot B vector will be equal to B vector dot a vector. So using these observations or results of scalar product of two vectors, we will be solving the problems in exercise 10.3. Next is projection of a vector on a line. Projection of a vector A vector on B vector is nothing but A vector dot B cap or we can write A vector dot instead of this B cap can write 
b vector divided by magnitude of b vector or a vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of b vector. Similarly, projection of a vector b vector on a vector is think that a vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of a vector. Exercise 10.3 Question number 1 Find the angle between two vectors a vector and b vector with magnitudes root 3 and 2 respectively having a vector dot b vector is equal to root 6. Here we are going to find the angle between two vectors a vector and b vector and we are given with magnitudes of a vector and b vectors as root 3 and 2 and also a vector dot b vector is equal to root 6. First we will write the given given magnitude of a vector is equal to root 3 and magnitude of b vector is equal to 2 and also a vector dot b vector is equal to root 6 a vector dot b vector is equal to root 6 we already know a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector into cos theta now we will substitute all this value in this formula. It is a vector dot b vector is root 6 which is equal to magnitude of a vector is root 3 and magnitude of b vector is 2. So into 2 into cos theta. So cos theta will be equal to root 6 divided by root 3 into 2. Now we are going to simplify this one. Root 6 we can write it as root 3 into root 2. And 2 we can write it as root 2 into root 2. Now root 3 and root 3 will get cancelled and root 2 and root 2 will get cancelled will be having 1 by root 2 cos theta equal to 1 by root 2 means which implies theta value is pi pi 4 that is theta is 45 degrees cos theta equal to 1 by root 2 we got that is theta equal to pi by 4 therefore the angle between a vector and b vector is pi by 4. Question number 2. Find the angle between the vectors i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap and 3i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap. Here also we are going to find the angle between vectors only. So we are going to consider this one as a vector and this one as b vector. So will write a vector is equal to i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap and b vector is equal to 3i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap. We already know the formula for finding the angles that is a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector into cos theta. So we have to find magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector and also dot product of two vectors that is a vector dot b vector. First we will find magnitude of a vector magnitude of a vector is nothing but root of sum of squares of the 
scalar components of i cap j cap and k cap scalar component of i cap is 1 so 1 square plus scalar component of j cap is minus 2 minus 2 square plus scalar component of k cap is 3 so 3 so whole square 1 square is 1 minus 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14 root 14 similarly you find magnitude of b vector which is equal to root of 3 the whole square plus minus 2 the whole square plus 1 the whole square 3 square is 9 minus 4 2 square is 4 and 1 square is 1 9 plus 4 plus 1 is 14 root 14 we have found magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector next we will find a vector dot b vector a vector dot b vector is equal to or a vector is i cap minus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap we will write that one i cap minus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap dot b vector or b vector is 3 i cap minus 2 j cap plus k cap now we learn how to find dot product of two vectors we will multiply i cap into all these three terms so 3 i cap dot i cap minus 2 j cap dot i cap plus k cap dot i cap and similarly we will multiply minus 2 j cap into all these three terms so minus 2 j cap in dot 3 i cap minus minus into minus plus so plus 2 j cap dot 2 j cap minus 2 j cap dot k cap plus 3 k cap dot all these three terms 3 k cap dot 3 i cap minus 3 k cap dot 2 j cap plus 3 k cap dot k cap now we will simplify this one now we already learnt in our observations of product of two vectors that is i cap dot i cap is 1 similarly j cap dot j cap is 1 and k cap dot k cap is 1 other than this if you have i cap dot j cap or j or j cap dot i cap and i cap dot k cap or k cap dot i cap which is equal to 0 so here we'll get 3 into 1 3 and this term will become 0 because j cap dot i cap and here also 0 and 0 here j cap dot j cap is 1 and 2 into 2 is 4 so plus 4 next this term will become 0 because j cap dot k cap and this also becomes 0 this also 0 and here k cap dot k cap is 1 and 3 into 1 is 3 so now we will add 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 3 10 so we got 
a vector dot b vector is equal to 10. Now we will substitute all these values that is magnitude of a vector, magnitude of b vector and a vector dot b vector in this formula to find the angle. Substitute in the formula a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector into cos theta. We know a vector dot b vector is 10 and magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector both root 14. So root 14 into root 14 into cos theta. 10 is equal to root 14 into root 14 is 14. 14 into cos theta. So cos theta is equal to 10 by 14. 10 by 14 is nothing but 5 by 7. And we have to find angle. So theta is equal to cos inverse of 5 by 7. This is the angle between the given two vectors. This theta is equal to cos inverse of 5 by 7. Question number 3. Find the projection of the vector i cap minus j cap on the vector i cap plus j cap. Let us take this vector as a vector and this one as b vector. Let our a vector is equal to i vector i cap minus j cap and b vector is equal to i cap my plus j cap. Now we are going to find the projection of a vector on b vector. Now projection of vector a vector on b vector is given by a vector dot b vector divide by b vector magnitude of b vector which is going to find a vector dot b vector that is that is multiply the scalar components of i cap 1 into 1 similarly multiply the scalar component of j cap plus minus 1 into 1 because all the remaining terms will become 0 that is i cap dot j cap and j cap dot i cap will be 0 divide by magnitude of b vector magnitude of b vector is nothing but root of 1 square plus 1 square simplify this 1 into 1 is 1 and minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 divide by 1 square plus 1 square is 2 so root 2 1 minus 1 is 0 0 by root 2 is 0 therefore the projection of the vector a vector on b vector is 0 question number 4 find the projection of the vector i cap plus 3 j cap plus 7 k cap on the vector 7 i cap minus j cap plus 8 k cap here also we are going to find the projection of the vector so we will take let a vector is equal to i cap plus 3 j cap plus 7 k cap and this one as our b vector and b vector is equal to 7 i cap minus j cap plus 8 k cap. Now projection of
vector a vector on b vector is given by a vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of b vector and similarly if you want to find the projection of the vector b vector on a vector means the formula will be like this a vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of a vector since we are finding projection of a vector a vector on b vector we have a vector dot b vector divided by magnitude of b vector now we'll multiply the scalar components of i cap that is 1 into 7 and plus scalar component of j cap that is 3 into minus 1 plus scalar component of k cap 7 into 8 divide by root of 7 square plus minus 1 square plus 8 square which is equal to 1 into 7 is 7 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and 7 into 8 is 56 divide by 7 square is 49 one minus 1 square is 1 and 8 square is 64 now 7 minus 3 is 4 4 plus 56 is 60 and divide by 49 plus 1 is 50 50 plus 64 is 114 so the projection of the vector a vector on b vector is 60 by root 114. Question number 5. Show that each of the given three vectors is a unit vector. We are given with these three vectors. We are going to show these three vectors are unit vectors. And also show that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. So let us take these vectors as a vector, b vector and c vector respectively. So let a vector is equal to, we will divide each and every term by 7. So 2 by 7 i cap plus 3 by 7 into j cap plus 6 by 7 into k cap. Mm. b vector is equal to this one multiply by 1 by 7 so 3 by 7 into i cap minus 6 by 7 into j cap plus 2 by 7 into k cap and c vector is equal to 6 by 7 into i cap plus 2 by 7 into j cap minus 3 by 7 into k cap in order to show that these three vectors are unit vector, we have to show their magnitude is equal to 1. So, we will find the magnitude of A vector, magnitude of B vector and magnitude of C vector. If it is equal to 1, then the, these three vectors are unit vector. Magnitude of A vector is equal to root of 2 by 7 the whole square plus 3 by 7 the whole square plus 6 by 7 the whole square which is equal to root of 2 square is 4 and 7 square is 49 so 4 by 49 plus 3 square is 9 7 square is 49 9 by 49 plus 6 square is 36 36 by 49 4 plus 9 is 13, 13 plus 36 is 49. So we will write uh, root 49 by 49. Root 49 by 49 is 1. So 
magnitude of a vector is 1 and similarly we will find magnitude of b vector and c vector magnitude of b vector is equal to root of 3 by 7 the whole square plus minus 6 by 7 the whole square plus 2 by 7 whole square is equal to 3 by 7 the whole square is 9 by 49 and minus 6 by 7 is 7 the whole square is 36 by 49 and 2 by 7 the whole square is 4 by 49 so if you simplify this one you will get 1 and magnitude of c vector is equal to root of 6 by 7 the whole square plus 2 by 7 the whole square plus minus 3 by 7 the whole square which is equal to 6 by 7 the whole square is 36 by 49 and 2 by 7 the whole square is 4 by 49 and minus 3 by 7 the whole square is 9 by 49 if you add and simplify you get 1 so if we observe this one magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector and magnitude of c vector or each one thus we can conclude that thus each of the given three vectors is a unit vector given three vectors is a unit vector next we are going to show they are mutually perpendicular to each other that is we have to show a vector dot b vector and b vector dot c vector and c vector dot a vector or 0 now we will find a vector dot b vector that is a vector dot b vector our a vector is 2 by 7 i cap plus 3 by 7 j cap plus 6 by 7 k cap dot our b vector is 3 by 7 i cap minus 6 by 7 into j cap plus 2 by 7 into k cap we already know how to find dot product of two vectors this scalar components of i cap into scalar component of i cap and if you have multiplying scalar component of i cap and scalar component of j cap the term will become 0 so 2 by 7 into 3 by 7 plus 3 by 7 into minus 6 by 7 plus 6 by 7 into 2 by 7. Now 2 into 3 is 6, 7 into 7 is 49. Plus into minus, minus 3 into 6, 18. And 7 into 7, 49. Plus 6 into 2, 12. And 7 into 7, 49. So all the denominators are same. So 49 will write common. 6 minus 18 plus 12. 6 minus 18 is minus 12. And minus 12 plus 12 is 0. 0 by 49 is 0. So our a vector dot b vector is 0. Similarly, we will find b vector dot c vector b vector dot 
c vector is equal to or b vector is 3 by 7 into i cap minus 6 by 7 into j cap plus 2 by 7 into k cap dot our c vector is this one 6 by 7 into i cap plus 2 by 7 into j cap minus 3 by 7 to k cap. 3 by 7 into 6 by 7 into 6 by 7 plus minus 6 by 7 into 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7 into minus 3 by 7 multiply now 3 into 6 18 7 into 7 49 and similarly minus 6 into 2 minus 12 7 into 7 49 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 divide by 49 which is equal to 49 numerator 18 minus 12 minus 6 18 minus 12 is 6 and 6 minus 6 is 0 and 0 by 49 is 0 so our b vector dot c vector is also 0 next we will find c vector dot a vector our c vector is this one 6 by 7 into i cap plus 2 by 7 into j cap minus 3 by 7 into k cap dot our a vector is 2 by 2 by 7 i cap plus 3 by 7 j cap plus 6 by 7 k cap So now we will find the dot product as usual. 6 by 7 into 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7 into 3 by 7 plus minus 3 by 7 into 6 by 7. We simplify 6 into 2, 12. And 7 into 7 is 49 plus 6 in, 2 into 3, 6, 7 into 7, 49 and minus 3 into 6 is minus 18, it's 49. So if you add the numerator 12 plus 6 minus 18 divide by 49. So, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 minus 18 is 0. So, 0 by 49 is again 0. So, we got C vector dot A vector also 0. Now, we can conclude that the given three vectors are mutually perpendicular to each other because our A vector dot B vector and b vector dot c vector and c vector dot a vector all equal to 0. So, it is mutually perpendicular to each other. Question number 6. Find magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector if a vector plus b vector dot a vector minus b vector is equal to 8 and magnitude of a vector is equal to 8 into magnitude of b vector and here we are going to find magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector and we are given with a vector plus b vector dot a vector minus b vector is equal to 8 magnitude of a is equal to 8 into magnitude of b vector so we will take what is given a vector plus b vector 
dot a vector minus b vector is equal to 8. Now we will find the dot product of these two. So a vector dot a vector. Similarly a minus a vector dot b vector plus b vector dot a vector and minus b vector dot b vector which is which is equal to 8 and we already know that a vector dot a vector is nothing but magnitude of a vector square that is we have learnt in observations of scalar product of vectors and minus a vector dot b vector and since scalar vectors are commutative we can write b vector dot a vector as a vector dot b vector so plus a vector dot b vector minus b vector dot b vector is magnitude of b vector square which is equal to 8 and minus a vector dot b vector and plus a vector dot b vector will get cancelled and we will write the remaining terms that is a vector magnitude of a vector square minus magnitude of b vector square which is equal to 8. We are also given with magnitude of a vector is equal to 8 into magnitude of b vector. So instead of magnitude of a vector we will substitute 8 into magnitude of b vector. So 8 into magnitude of b vector the whole square since square is there we are writing whole square minus magnitude of b vector square which is equal to 8. Now 8 square is 64 so 64 into magnitude of b vector square minus magnitude of b vector square which is equal to 8. Now 64 into magnitude of b vector square minus, minus magnitude of b vector square is 63 into magnitude of b vector square which is equal to 8. Now keep magnitude of b vector the whole square is equal to 8 divided by 63. Now we have to find magnitude of b vector here square is there so we will take square root magnitude of b vector is equal to square root of 8 by 63. Now square root of 8 is thing but 2 into root 2 and square root of 63 we can write it as 3 into root 7 and this is our magnitude of b vector and we are also asked to find magnitude of a vector so we will substitute our magnitude of b vector in this one and we will find magnitude of a vector therefore given that given magnitude of a vector is equal to 8 into magnitude of b vector so we'll substitute our magnitude of b vector in this one magnitude of a vector is equal to 8 into magnitude of b vector just now we found that is 2 into root 2 divide by 3 into root 7 now we will multiply 8 inside so we will get 8 into 2 as 16 16 into root 2 divide by 3 into root 7 so this is our magnitude of a vector question number 7 evaluate the product 3a vector minus 5b vector dot 2a vector plus 7b vector. Now we are going to find the dot product of these two vectors. So we will take this one. 
3 a vector minus 5 b vector dot 2 into a vector plus 7 into b vector which is equal to 3 into a vector dot 2 into a vector plus 3 into a vector dot 7 into b vector minus 5 into b vector dot 2 into a vector similarly minus 5 into b vector b vector dot 7 into b vector will multiply 3 into 2 6 and a vector dot a vector plus 3 into 7 21 21 into a vector dot b vector and minus 5 into 2 10 b vector dot a vector minus 5 into 7 35 b vector dot b vector and we know a vector dot a vector is magnitude of a vector square plus 21 a vector dot b vector since scalar product is commutative we can write b vector dot a vector as a vector dot b vector so 10 into a vector dot b vector minus 35 into b vector dot b vector is magnitude of b vector square now 6 into magnitude of a vector square plus 21 minus 10 is 11 so 11 a vector dot b vector minus 35 into magnitude of b vector square question number 8 find the magnitude of two vectors a vector and b vector having the same magnitude and such that the angle between them is 60 degree and their scalar product is 1 by 2 that is we are going to find magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector and we are given with both magnitude of a vector and magnitude of b vector are same and theta value is 60 degree and scalar product of two vector is 1 by 2. So let us take the angle between the two vector as theta let theta be the angle between the vectors a vector and b vector and we are also given magnitude of a vector is equal to magnitude of b vector that is same magnitude is given so we can write given magnitude of a vector is equal to magnitude of b vector and theta value is 60 degree theta is equal to 60 degree and scalar product is 1 by 2 so a vector dot b vector is equal to 1 by 2 we already know that a vector dot b vector is equal to magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector into cos theta so we know a vector dot b vector is 1 by 2 so we substitute here 1 by 2 is equal to 
since magnitude of a vector is equal to magnitude of b vector we can write magnitude of a vector into instead of magnitude of b vector we will write again magnitude of a vector and cos theta is 60 degree so 60 degrees Okay, 1 by 2 is equal to magnitude of a vector into magnitude of a vector is magnitude of a vector square. Magnitude of a vector square. And cos 60 degree value is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled and we will have magnitude of a vector square is equal to 1. And magnitude of a vector is 1 therefore magnitude of b vector is also 1 because they are having the same magnitude so we can write therefore magnitude of a vector is equal to magnitude of b vector and which is equal to 1 question number 9 find magnitude of x vector if for a unit vector a vector and x vector minus a vector dot x vector plus a vector is equal to 12. We are given with a vector as a unit vector and we are asked to find magnitude of x vector and we are going to use this one that is x vector minus a vector dot x vector plus a vector is equal to 12. So we will write given If it is a unit vector means, if a vector is a unit vector means, then its magnitude will be 1. So, we can write magnitude of a vector is equal to 1. And x vector minus a vector dot x vector plus a vector is equal to 12. We will find the dot product of these two that is x vector dot x vector next plus x vector dot a vector minus a vector dot x vector minus a vector dot a vector which is equal to 12. We already know x vector dot x vector is magnitude of x vector square plus x vector dot a vector since since scalar product of vector is commutative we can write a vector dot x vector as x vector dot a vector minus a vector dot a vector is magnitude of a vector square which is equal to 12. Now, x vector dot a vector minus x vector dot a vector get cancelled. We are having magnitude of x vector square minus magnitude of a vector square is equal to 12. We know that magnitude of a vector is equal to 1 because our given vector a vector is a unit vector. So, its magnitude will be equal to 1. We will substitute here magnitude of x vector no, square minus instead of magnitude of a vector we will write 1 square. 1 square is nothing but 1 which is equal to 12 and magnitude of x vector square is equal to 12. If we take minus 1 the side will become plus 1. So magnitude of x vector square is equal to 12 plus 1 is 13 and we have to find just magnitude of x vector so which is nothing but root 13 question number 10 if a vector is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap comma b vector is equal to minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap and c vector is equal to 3i cap plus j cap or such that a vector plus lambda into b vector is perpendicular to c vector 
then find the value of lambda. Here in question number 10, we are asked to find the value of lambda and we are given with three vectors that is a vector, b vector and c vector and also they are given the condition that a vector plus lambda into b vector is perpendicular to c vector. Two vectors are said to be perpendicular to each other if they are, if and only if their dot products are 0. That is a vector plus lambda into b vector dot c vector is equal to 0. So, we will find first a vector plus lambda into b vector. A vector plus lambda into b vector which is equal to our a vector is 2 i cap plus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap plus lambda into our b vector is minus i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap. Now we will multiply the scalar lambda inside to i cap plus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap minus into lambda is minus lambda a cap plus 2 lambda j cap plus lambda into k cap. Now 2 minus lambda into i cap. i cap plus 2 plus 2 lambda j cap and plus 3 plus lambda into k cap. It is given a vector plus lambda into b vector is perpendicular to c. If a vector plus lambda into b vector is perpendicular to to c vector then a vector plus lambda into b vector dot c vector be equal to 0. So we have found a vector plus lambda into b vector. So we will substitute here 2 minus lambda into i cap plus 2 plus 2 lambda into j cap plus 3 plus lambda into k cap dot our c vector is 3 i cap plus j cap and there is no k component which is equal to 0. Now we will find the dot product of these two vectors. So 2 minus lambda into 3 plus 2 plus 2 lambda into 1 and since there is no k component we will write 3 plus lambda dot 0 because 0 into k cap is 0. We will assume 0 k cap which is equal to 0. Now we will multiply 2 into 3 is 6 minus 3 into lambda 3 lambda plus 1 into 2 plus 2 lambda is 2 plus 2 lambda and 0 into this term will become 0 which is equal to 0. Now 2 plus 6 is 8 and minus 3 lambda plus 2 lambda is minus lambda which is equal to 0. So 8 minus lambda equal to 0 means lambda will be equal to 8. So lambda value is 8. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन शो दैट मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए वेक्टर इनटू बी वेक्टर प्लस मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी वेक्टर इनटू ए वेक्टर इज परपेंडिकुलर टू मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए वेक्टर इनटू बी वेक्टर माइनस मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ बी वेक्टर इनटू ए वेक्टर मा फॉर एनी टू नॉन जीरो वेक्टर्स ए वेक्टर एंड बी वेक्टर वे आर एस्ट टू शो दैट दीज टू वेक्टर्स आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर two vectors are perpendicular to each other if their dot product is equal to 0 so we will find the dot product if it is equal to 0 means then these two vectors are perpendicular to each other so we will first find the dot product of these two vectors that is magnitude of a vector into b vector plus magnitude of b vector into a vector dot magnitude of a vector into b vector minus magnitude of b vector into a vector so we will we will find the dot product of these two magnitude of a vector into b vector dot magnitude of a vector into b vector and minus multiply this term with this so magnitude of a vector into b vector dot magnitude of b vector into a vector plus magnitude of b vector into a vector dot magnitude of a vector into b vector minus magnitude of b vector into a vector dot magnitude of b vector into a vector now magnitude of a vector into magnitude of a vector is magnitude of a vector square and b vector dot b vector is magnitude of b vector square minus magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector into b vector dot a vector plus magnitude of b vector dot magnitude of a vector we can write magnitude of a vector into magnitude of b vector and a vector dot b vector b vector Minus magnitude of b vector into magnitude of b vector is magnitude of b vector square and magnitude of a vector and a vector dot a vector is magnitude of a vector square. So these two terms will get cancelled, and similarly, magnitude of a vector square into magnitude of b vector square. and magnitude of b vector square into magnitude of a vector square also will get cancelled and will get zero so we got the dot product of magnitude of a vector into b vector plus magnitude of b vector into a vector magnitude of a vector into b vector minus magnitude of b vector into a vector as zero so these two vectors are perpendicular magnitude of a vector into b vector plus magnitude of b vector into a vector is perpendicular to magnitude of a vector into b vector minus magnitude of b vector into a vector hence proved question number 12 if a vector dot a vector is equal to 0 and a vector dot b vector is equal to 0 then what can be concluded about the vector b vector we are given with a vector dot a vector 
is equal to 0 and also a vector dot b vector is equal to 0. So, we already know a vector dot a vector is magnitude of a vector square which is equal to 0. If magnitude of a vector is equal to 0 means then magnitude of a vector is 0. If magnitude of a vector is 0 means then a vector will be a 0 vector. So, which implies a vector is a 0 vector. Therefore, hence B vector can be any vector satisfying this condition that is A vector dot B vector equal to 0. B any vector satisfying the condition a vector dot b vector equal to 0.